Hey yo, interneters! Welcome back to another video and today you're going to see me learn how to do a combo. And for those of you who do not know what a combo is, it is when you take multiple pin tricks and link them together. Basically what that means is when you go like this, Oh, it was, uh, nothing. <laughs> so if you want to learn how to do this combo, you need to know how to do these pin tricks beforehand. So the first one is Twisted Sonic. The finger pass reverse is the second one. The Twisted Sonic reverse is the third. Fourth one is finger pass. And then the Twisted Sonic, or you could do a Sonic. And then to close it off, you do a thumb around. Day one of practicing the combo. So in day one, I try to work on all the links uh, and try to make it as fluid as possible. You can see that I failed and sometimes I had success. Uh, before I did uh, this combo, I'll try to link the tricks together. I've already previously learned majority of the tricks. Except for two, I think it was the finger pass and the Twisted Sonic Reverse. So yeah, in day one you should see me trying to practice it for the first time. Uh, I got frustrated because I know how to do the tricks, but then linking them together to make it smooth was very difficult for me. And yeah, you just gotta keep practicing and practicing and practicing until, you know, you see improvements. On the third day I was practicing and I started to feel more smoothly when I was doing the Twisted uh, Sonic reverse and into the finger pass reverse uh, for those it felt very smooth and it came out very uh, fluidly uh, at least that's how I feel I don't know how it looks it didn't look like it did but uh, I started feeling that way so I got more comfortable with it so day five came right and when I was practicing day three and four I noticed that I struggled a lot when the pin got between my ring finger and my pinky and when the pin got between my middle finger and my ring finger. And the reason is why is because I have a weak pinky and I have a weak ring finger, right? I have very little mobility uh, when it comes to those two fingers and uh, it just feels weak. So what I started doing was I isolated the pin trick just to those fingers, right? And I just kept practicing and practicing and practicing so I could get those fingers stronger and to become more flexible it was a lot hard and kind of painful actually I started catching cramps and you know all kinds of stuff it was it was just painful but even still with me isolating and practicing that not only just for day five but I spent I would say close to four days just doing that to strengthen my fingers and trying to get it used to doing the combo so uh yeah two months later so yeah i'm able to do the combo now pretty excited and ecstatic about that took me two months of time not really to the full two months right i practice one to three hours a day for two months straight i don't have a total count in terms of minutes or how many time i failed like i did in my previous video but I guess you could kind of figure out the hours, right? I gave you guys one to three hours a day for two months straight. Yeah, you could kind of do the hours. Uh, but yeah, in the video, you could see that I got better with uh, my pinky and my ring finger. It got a little bit stronger and more flexible. Uh, it doesn't feel as weak as it did before. Uh, it took a lot of practice and training to get that uh, done for me. Uh, hopefully, you guys won't struggle like I did in terms of that but if you do hey just know that it took me two months worth of time i didn't do anything for two months do anything i just i just solely practice every day that i got a chance uh when i got a chance so yes remember don't practice until you get it right practice until you can't get it wrong if you like what you saw please remember to hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment below and with that being said that's all i have for today see you in my next video whenever that comes out yeah <laughs>